Y'all, welcome or welcome back. Aren't these just gorgeous? I seen them on Pinterest and I fell in love. They're so farmhouse. I did mine different, but it's it's still, you know, basically kind of what I saw. So I took a Dollar Tree photo frame that I've had forever. You can use any frame, whatever you um, choose to put it in. I, I give you two options of frames anyway through these uh, DIYs. So... I don't particularly like the plasticky look of this, so I'm going to take it all apart. I don't know why I looked at that. I really don't, because I didn't even use it. But anyway, I'm a weirdo. Uh, but I'm going to take and... Um, what is that? Oh, this thing is rickety, okay? So I'm taking some tight bond quick and thick, and I'm just taking my little finger... And I'm going to push that glue down in those cracks because they're pretty wide cracks. And I, this Dollar Tree frames are flimsy. Um, I mean, they're good to use in DIYs, but you have to doctor them up a little bit like this right here. But anyway, uh, I'm going to just glue my seams right here and make sure that, you know, that dries before I take that Waverly Ivory chalk paint and I'm going to use this brush from Dollar Tree and I am going to distress the front so what I done was I painted it on and then wiped it off and then dry brushed over that okay and I did the sides too. make sure you do the sides or you'll see it so this is burlap ribbon that I got at Dollar Tree and I had it in another project I'm ripping the sides off because I want to fray it like that right there so I'm going to cut the sides off both these pieces I'm not going to need them the same length I mean you can do one shorter because one has to be shorter you know I'm making a cross here so um but anyway I'm just going to fray my edges on both these pieces and cut that um dovetail thing off so now that I've done that oh now I'm going to cut the dovetail thing off <laughs> y'all I'm crazy okay Find the middle, because you don't want a wonky cross, do you? No, we don't want a wonky cross. So I'm just going to use hot glue, and I'm going to put hot glue down in that crack, too, right there. And, y'all, use something, because glue goes through that those burlap holes, you know what I'm saying? Make sure when you do this, okay, you'll see me later. Don't get glue anywhere it should not be. So I'm going to take this little stapler. I love this stapler. It's in my Amazon store. It's not. It's not a heavy duty stapler it's just a good easy on your hand stapler so I'm going to glue right there make sure I get it in the middle push it down a little bit now y'all don't push this a lot because um glue's going to seep through your holes there and then when you push on it it makes it look white or weird looking so just kind of press it down kind of easy just enough to tack it down and you're good make sure you get that one in the middle pull it kind of tight see that's where it, I turned it white, and I thought, you dummy, you shouldn't have done that. So basically, I'm going to do the same on this one. Push it down in my hole there, or the ridge, rim, dip, I don't know what you call it, and then staple it. These staples go through this so easy. I mean, I just wanted to give it a little extra security because, you know, I'm not sure about it when I put my stuff on it. So then you're going to take a piece of twine and then you're going to scrunch this up in the middle. I'm used to doing hair bows so I scrunch stuff, you know, I don't know. But anyway, then tie it in a knot and cut it off. Then I'm going to take this one and it doesn't matter, uh, it's too long. So I'm just going to tack it down first. And then I'm going to tack the other side and I'm going to pull it around and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Staples and glue and you see me do this. Okay, so I'm going to take hot glue now and I'm just going to glue my cross or the, you see what I'm doing. I can't even explain myself. Okay, I can right there. I'm taking my blow dryer and I'm trying to heat up that glue so that it becomes clear so I can wipe it with my finger and make it white again. <laughs> it was just stupid. That was kind of dumb. But anyway, I did it. You've seen it. It's all good. 
So now I'm going to take boxwood that I get from Walmart. These are just scraps. Y'all save all my scraps. And I'm going to tuck them in those um, uh, dents, crevices, creases, valleys, cracks, holes, divots, indentions, whatever you want to call those things. I'm putting them in there. Okay. I'm just gluing them and I'm using this pokey tool because one, I'm not touching that glue. I I'm dumb, but I ain't that dumb. And I can like use the pokey tool to maneuver it down in that crack hole or whatever you want to call that thing. You choose people, you choose. So I have these wood roses from the Dollar Tree. Uh, I've had them for a while and it would look silly to put them down in the middle. So of course I'm going to use moss because why not? Moss is in this year. There's a lot of DIYs with moss anyway. So uh, that'll give me something to put my roses on so it don't look so funny. But I'm putting hot glue all the way around here because I want I want my moss to stay down all around there. It looks like a bird's nest. Um, I'm not putting a bird in there. I'm putting my flowers in there. So anyway, you know, I'm trying to, I'm giving it a haircut. I'm trying to craft my stash because I got a lot of um, stuff. I almost said I got a lot of crap. I do have a lot of stuff, uh, crap and stuff. But anyway, let me glue these down. I'm just going to put glue on that one because I, what can I glue it to? Nothing. Just a moss. So then I'm going to put glue on the rest of the roses where I can glue them on the side and glue them down in the moss, touching the other rows, you know, glue them together like that right there. Smushy, smushy. There you go. Then I'm going to take my... Uh, boxwood piece over there and I'm going to start um, filling it in because this looks like an X and I thought that looks kind of kind of crazy so I'm going to just start poking boxwood in and y'all don't have to see that because I mean it's just my brain sticking stuff in where I think it looks best see so yeah I'll show you so I ended up with this right here and it was so pretty now, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I printed this. I found it online, and I printed it, okay? You can find printables. You can buy printables, whatever you want to do. And it had printed this way with white sides. I couldn't get it to do anything else. So I'm going to take my Distressed Oxide in Vintage Photo, and I'm going to start going to town on distressing this to blend it in. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You ain't even got to put your paper in there. Or song you can just leave it like it is it doesn't matter I mean it's yours do what you want to um I think what I was finna tell you earlier is and I got distracted by those dents or whatever those things was in that thing is I am trying to craft my stash because I have a lot of stuff there I was just trying a different color because it had kind of a yellow tone but it didn't work out so I'm just going to put that back in there and I'm just going to use this one right here um this works better. I end up getting the whole thing. And it looks cohesive when I get done. You'll see. You'll see. But anyway, I am trying to craft my stash. Because I have a lot of stuff. And I need to get rid of it. I need to get the stuff down. And so you may be seeing things in DIYs. That were, you know, obtained from Dollar Tree a long time ago. I don't buy a lot of stuff from Dollar Tree anymore. Because, you know, when their prices went up, I can get it sometimes cheaper at Hobby Lobby or somewhere else, my craft supplies. And I do get my wood in the big box stores, which, I mean, it kind of evens out if you want to pick up a piece or two. But I don't know. I just, I get it elsewhere. So, um, anyway, you'll see me crafting some of my junk, stash, whatever. So, anyway, you call it what you want. I don't care. Call it what you want. But anyway, look how I'm I'm doing this paper. Oh my gosh, ain't that pretty? I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I don't know why I like things dirty. It's just, I don't, farmhouse, old, vintage, I love it. I love it. So I'm done with that, distressing that. My hands are so, ugh, from that stuff. Look. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I don't want to do anything else to my cross. So I'm going to take, this is, this is glue, and I just want to make sure that when I put it in the frame, it's not slipping nowhere. So I use this to cut it out. Well, actually, I use my glass to cut it out. I drew around it and then cut it to where it needed to be. And then I glued it to the back of there. And then, <laughs> this is what I told you, y'all see in a minute. You do not want to get your glue 
where your glue should not be. I clean my glass. I'm trying not to touch it because my fingers are greasy, it seems like, and from that stuff. And this would not push down in there. And I'm thinking, you know, is it the is it the burlap or what? And then I notice a chunk of glue in there. I mean a chunk of glue. So I've got to go in and, and get this glass out of here and dig my glue chunk out. See it right there? Y'all, do not point towards yourself. You'll, you'll poke yourself. But anyway, I, I got to dig this out. Learn from my mistakes. That's why I'm showing you. But anyway, I dug it out. I got my glass in there. Be very careful with the glass and these Dollar Tree frames because it's thin and it will break. And then I'm just going to push my flimsy little cardboard piece down in here. Close my little sealers. And it was poking out. Like it, it, you know, you got that cross on the back. So I'm just going to take masking tape. And I mean, yeah, it looks tacky, but it's mine, not yours. Don't worry about it. I'm just kidding. I'm just messing. Y'all, I'm I'm sarcastic and I'm such a smart aleck sometimes, but my husband, he loves it. Let me tell you. Uh, nah, he don't really. But anyway, I'm just going to take my masking tape and I'm going to glue my four corners down. I mean, tape my four corners down because they were poking out. Y'all just, if you're, if, if you don't know me and my humor, you will be offended by me, and I don't mean, I don't mean to offend anyone. I am what I am. I'm like Popeye, honey. So there, it just stands up. You can stand it up. You can hang it up. You can rip that thing off the back if you want to hang it up. Whatever you want to do, it's yours. Now I have a frame, and it was one of the canvas. It's a five by seven, and I've got this twine from Walmart, and I glued it in the middle, and then I realized I glued it in the middle. And I rip it off. And you want to glue this to the side. Now you want to figure out how wide you want your... Look, I'm just twirling, twirling. And then realize, you dummy, you did it wrong. Learn from my mistakes, people. That's why crafters do videos. You learn from their mistakes. I don't want this all one big hole like that. Like, when I went to squish it in, I realized, oh, this would look so much better if, if you did it. The other way so I will stop in a minute I think what am I gonna catch myself ever yeah there I'm trying to see so yeah it wasn't working it just wasn't working if you want to do it this way do it this way it's up to you but then I realized I had more on one side than the other side so this is where I scooted over sorry I had to show you all that mess I just didn't edit it out scooted it over and I'm going to the same side okay I mean same not same side it's the same width <laughs> and I'm gonna do this close to each other now I have to stop every once in a while and push them close together but I'm gonna do this until I have the same width on the other side right there okay like that right there and then you just take your um another piece of your twine and tie it in the middle now I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I did that for. I didn't realize I did that. That's funny. I'm going to take that string and I'm going to pull it through here. And that's how I'm going to secure it instead of making one on the back. Okay. And I'm just taking my glue gun. What I was doing was smearing that down in there so I didn't have to touch it. So now I'm just going to go around and around. I did go over the one so it wouldn't slip off. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. See how I'm pushing it up there to get them close together. And I'm going to go down as far as I want to. And then I'm going to tie it in the middle in the back. And then I'll tie it in the middle in the front. So I just wanted to show you this is what it looks like. And I glued it in the back to secure it. And then I'm just going to slide my string underneath there. And I'm going to pull it tight and tie it real, real good. Now you have to hold it with your pinkies when you're tying or your your um, twine will slip. And then I didn't feel secure, so I'm just going to glue my little knot down right there. It looked like a belly button. And then I did the same thing to the front. And then I have these vintage tea roses. I get these at Hobby Lobby when the his and hers goes on sale. Um, I love, love, love these roses. So you'll see me use them a lot just because I love them. I'm going to take and I don't know why I was cutting them. You could pull them off. And I'm going to glue two up here and one in the middle. Okay. 
So that's what I'm, I'm not putting moss on this. You can if you want to, that's up to you. But these will be pretty much, you know, it'll be pretty much hidden. I do change it up. I did something and then I took it out, but I'll, I'll explain later. So I'm going to glue that one there because there's a hole in the middle and I wanted to fill the hole, which I shouldn't have. I, I could have put a leaf in there. I don't even know why I did this. I tried to put this thing in there. And I thought, yeah, that looks good. Well, <laughs> from your your perspective, it may. But I was I was like determined to get that. I glued it in the middle, and then when I flipped it around, it's like this thing is sticking out of the middle of flowers, and it looked pretty funny. So I ended up pulling it out, and I put one of the one of the uh, white roses, the little bitty ones, in there because it just looks funny. So these I get from Hobby Lobby and the uh, his and hers too. And I'm just going to cut them down and I'm going to glue them. And you might want a low temp glue gun because this kind of tries to melt your little plastic. But that's what it ends up looking like. I added another one to the bottom right there. And I put the roses all around and one in the middle. Now this is a shelf sitter or you can put a hanger on the back. This is what they look like. I know it's a little dark but I don't have a stand for my light right now. So this is what it is. But these are absolutely gorgeous gorgeous i love them so farmhouse and so beautiful thank y'all for watching you are a blessing i appreciate each and every one of you i thank you for subscribing and i just want to say that you guys are the best until next time goodbye